A V B N The Rich Video Blog Network Home to Weekly NFL Predictions Personality Profile Sports Video Blogs Professional Wrestling Video Blogs Entertainment Video Blogs MBTA Video Blogs and more Collection of my work going back June of 2014 is on Facebook and YouTube. RVBN, Berwick, Massachusetts. Good afternoon, good evening, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and Google+. Plus. This is Rich again, back for your third and final video blog of the night for Monday, December 19th, 2016. Around 8 10 in the evening in Bellica, Massachusetts. It's about 19 degrees outside. It's going to go down to 11 tonight. Tomorrow's going to be about freezing. Then the warming trend. Some news to report on the RVBN news. Why? Do, 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 do. The Pittsburgh Pirates signed relief pitcher Daniel Hudson to a two-year contract worth $11 million. Congratulations to former WBZ weather lady Melissa Mack. She gave birth to her first child, a baby boy named Jet. And it's official. Donald Trump has been elected the 45th president of the United States. The Electoral College confirmed that. So he takes office. January 20th, yes. how, 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 how good is this president going to see, be? We'll find out. And that's about it on news from the RVBN News. Why do, 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 be back in a flash. Starting de um, January, I mean, December 21st through the 24th, RVBN's um, 2017 predictions of the NBA, NHL, Major League Baseball and the NFL four straight days. RVBN, Bellica, Massachusetts. Good evening, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and Google Plus. I'm back for the third and final video blog subject of the night. Tonight's third subject of the, of the night is about the wrestling album Two Pile Driver. The WWE released a second wrestling album on LP. About the like f um, round record and cassette record in 1987. It had Hulk Hogan on the cover of the Pile Driver album wearing a hard hat in a construction. And they had 10 songs on this album. And it was produced by David Wolf and Rick Dellinger, and it was helped out by Jim Johnson, the longtime music director of the WWE. On the records were the songs Girls in Cars, which was Strike Force's theme song. It was, it was a good song. Then it had Pile Driver, which was sung by Coco Beware. That was Coco Beware's theme music for a few years. Then they had the Honky Tonk Man singing his own song, The Honky Tonk Man. I'm cool, I'm cocky, I'm ba 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 Decent song by that. Then they had Rick De Dellinger sing the Demolition theme song, which was the theme song to Axe and Smash, which they used a few year for a few years. That was a pretty good theme song. Then they had the Doctor of Style Slick sing Jai Sobro, which he was a decent singer. Nothing special about that. That theme was used for several wrestlers in Slick's, Slick's stable for about three, four years. Then they had Crank It Up sing by the mouth of the South, Jimmy Hart. This was originally going to be the Hot Foundation's theme song, but it went to the Young Stallions, Paul Wilmer, and Jim Powers.
was and Jimmy Hawk got mad about that. Then I had a song called Waking Up Alone, which was sung by Hillbilly Jim and some lady named Gertrude. Hill Jim, Billy Jim on a podcast said a few years ago he never met Gertrude in person and I don't know who Gertrude is period there's no f- um, f- um, Wikipedia post on her probably some local singer that the WWE sc- sc- scooped up or something to have Pile Driver the album then they had Stand Back, S- Sane by Vince McMahon, and he was very, very awful seeing Stand Back when he performed it at uh, Slammy's in 1987. It was, you know, pitiful. Even Julie Broughton could sing better than the chairman of the WWE, in my humble opinion. <laughs> Then they had Mean Gene Oakland with Rick Dellinger, um, Saint Rock and Roll Hoochie Coo, which was a um, remake of a song by Rick Dellinger, who sang that song. Yeah, decent song, and we, uh, it was okay. Then, to top it all off, they had the WWE superstars sing If You Only Knew. And it was, they had Hulk Hogan, and they had the Million Dollar Man, and the Honky Tonk Man, and they had Bobby the Brain Heenan, and Jimmy Hart, and Randy Macho Man Savage, and, and uh, many others. It was pretty, pretty decent. Kind of a little bit of like Land of a Thousand Dances. And Pile Driver 2 was a decent selling um, album. It didn't match any records or get a gold album. It was never released on CD, surprisingly, which very shockingly, the WWE um, has all their wrestling music released on DVD except this one. But there was a Coliseum Home video of released with Pile Driver. And they had eight of the ten songs released. Rock and Roll Hoochie Coo, If You Only Knew, Stand Back, Jive So Bro, and Demolition, A Honky Tonk Man, Girls and Cars, and Pile Driver. The only ones they did not release a music video for were, um, were like Waking Up Alone, and crank it up, which you know, kind of disappointing that the other two were. These music music videos were decent. And um, by the way, St- um, Stand Back was was proposed to be Andre the Giant's theme music, but he never used it. And I had Pile Driver, the wrestling album, two years ago on cassette, decent, but not as good as WrestleMania. I mean. The wrestling album, in my humble opinion. Coming soon, I'm going to review the rest, the WrestleMania, WrestleMania the album. That'll be coming up in a few days. I'll be back tomorrow. Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and Google Plus with three more video blogs. First video blog will be about former NBA playing coach John Lucas. Second video blog will be about the classic TV game show Chain Reaction, the NBC version. And the third and final video blog of the night will be about the Titans of Wrestling podcast. After tomorrow's personality profiles, it's going on a brief hiatus, but it will be back next Monday with four more before um, the, the, the 30th and 31st. It's going to take a couple of days off. And like I always say, keep calm, everybody. I'm Julie Bunny Guy, Molly Wolf's Blood, WCCO Oxen and has nice legs, Elizabeth Hat's so so stunning, she's the best, Amy Sweezy's awesome, awesome Amy, then the church of WPIX Channel 11 in New York, such a rocking cougar, got the best legs in New York City, bar none, Bobby Gibbs of ABC 11 has a sweet southern accent, best legs in Raleigh, North Carolina, Heidi Lee Pratt has the best legs in the world. And in the words of D. Patel, no, in the words of Sean Luchik, get out. See you later. Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and Google Plus. Bye.